Hello, fourth graders, and welcome. You have found lesson 1.12, and today we're going to talk about angles and triangles and some quadrilaterals. Now, throughout this lesson, you're going to see us reference straws, right? Now, you don't if you don't have straws at your house or where you're working, that's fine. Grab two pencils, grab two pens, uh, you know, just two of anything that you're going to be able to kind of connect. You don't have to have a twist tie to connect them. You can hold them together with your fingers. But when you take two uh, pencils or two straws and twist and join them together, you're going to make an angle. OK, an angle is two uh, line segments or lines or rays that meet at a point. Now, back in second grade, you would have called this the corner. But here in fourth grade, we are going to use the math word, and it is the word word vertex. So I'd like for you to go and grab two of anything that you can connect like that, that you can just touch together, hold two pencils together or two straws. Go ahead and grab that. All right, so whenever you see straws in this le in this lesson, that this is what I want you to use instead. We can make a right angle. Take your um, your straws and form them into a right angle like this. A right angle is going to cross at a square corner, right? Or also called a 90 degree angle, right? A right angle is always 90 degrees. So um, now, if we turn our angle, right? If we turn it, and I think I can do that here. Do we still have a right angle? Yes, of course we do, right? Because we still have a 90 degree angle, okay? Now, um, lines or line segments that intersect and form right angles are car called perpendicular. So whenever you see two, whether it's rays or line segments or lines that cross at a right angle, they are perpendicular. So in this situation, ray RM is perpendicular to ray RH. Okay, perpendicular means crossing at right angles. Let's try to make an angle that is larger than a right angle. So open more. Take a moment and try to and open your angle more than a right angle. All right, you should have done something like this. An obtuse angle is open more than a right angle. Now, it doesn't matter how long we draw these lines. What matters is how far open it is because when we measure angles we're not measuring how long the lines or the rays are we're measuring the amount that it's open so an obtuse angle is larger than 90 degrees but smaller than 80 right think about when you go to the dentist and you have to open up your mouth and you say ah uh, right just like obtuse that's one way to remember that okay so open more than 90 degrees now we can make an angle that's smaller than a right angle try to do that did you make something that looks like this? If you did, you made an acute angle. Look how little it's open. It's only open a little bit. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah, right? That's how you can remember. Acute angle. It's just open a tiny little bit. It's adorable. All acute angles are less than 90 degrees, right? So we can have an angle that is made of two rays that share a, a vertex, right? An endpoint. Or we could have two line segments that share uh, an, an endpoint, a vertex as well. So looking at this angle, now we can put some names to angles. So this angle is going to be an obtuse angle. And when we name this angle, we have to name it with the points in order. So we're gonna start here, angle A, B, C. So we went A, B, C. Now could, we could also start at C. And if we did that, we would call this angle C, B, A. And you can see that the point in the vertex, right, this, this corner point is always the middle letter when you are naming an angle. Always, always, always. And angle names have three letters. Remember, when you're naming a, a ray or a line segment or a line, you only use two letters. When you use three letters, you are naming a, an angle. Okay, so let's see. Can we name this BAC? What do you think? Can we name it that? No, we cannot, right? Because BAC does not work. You can't start at the vertex. This is either angle ABC or CBA, not BAC. All right, what kind of angle is this? Well, let's see if we've caught these terms. 
this is an acute angle, right? It's smaller than 90 degrees. What is the name of the vertex here? The vertex is the corner. Point C is the vertex. So what, if we were going to um, name the rays here, what, what two rays make up this angle? Here we have a ray that starts at C and goes through B. So this is ray CB. Now we cannot call this ray BC because the, the first letter in a ray's name is wherever the ray starts. CB and CD are the two rays that meet at the vertex C. So our goal here today, we're, we're working to identify and draw angles, triangles, and quadrilaterals. Now, we've only gotten through angles so far, but we're going to dive into triangles and quadrilaterals in just a moment here. All right, so now you need a third straw or pencil or pen or whatever you're doing, right? Connect them together. Okay, what'd you make? You made a triangle, right? A triangle uh, is going to have three sides. We've known that probably for a long time. All right, so different ways that you can make a triangle, depending on whether or not you have um, objects that are the same size, you might make a right triangle. And if you do make a right triangle, it has a right angle. Now you would have to have two short items, two short straws or pens or whatever you have, and one long one in order to make a right triangle. So in this right triangle, we have this uh, line segment perpendicular, remember that word, crossing at a right angle to YZ, perpendicular. All right, what if we have four? Can you grab one more of whatever you have there and make a shape for me? So now there's a lot of shapes you could have made, right? Four-sided shapes are called quadrilaterals. Quad, Q-U-A-D, that is a, uh, a word part that means four, and then lateral means sides. So quadrilateral actually means four sides. Now, there's lots and lots of different quadrilaterals. So if we have a quadrilateral with all sides the same same shape, excuse me, all sides the same size and all right angles, we would have a square, right? Now, sometimes people say a square has four equal sides. That's true, but in order to actually be a square, it needs to also have four right angles. A square has to have both four equal sides and four right angles. Because if you uh, take your, oh, hang on. If you take your uh, square here, let's say we pushed it together. Let me grab uh, one of my other shapes here. If we push those, um, those corners in, we're gonna end up with a shape like this. Now you used to call it a diamond. Okay, but this math, the math word for this is called a rhombus. And a rhombus is a shape with four equal sides. See, well, these are all equal. Okay, but this rhombus is not a square. This is also a rhombus, but it is a square because as, as well because it has right angles. So that can be kind of confusing, right? A rhombus is any shape with four equal sides. But in order to be counted as a square, it also has to have four right angles. All right, I showed you this one in a minute, right? A little earlier, rectangle. A rectangle is any shape with four right angles. Most often you see one set of the sides um, longer uh, on a rectangle. See what else we have. We also have a shape that's not just called a parallelogram. And we're gonna get deeper into this earlier because some of the other shapes that I show also qualify as parallelograms. But this is the shape that you'll most commonly see as a parallelogram. The top and the bottom are parallel. It's kind of like a slanty rectangle, right? You kind of smushed the corners of a para of the uh, rectangle a little bit to make the parallelogram. All right, last shape. If we make a trapezoid, let's see if we've got a trapezoid. What a trapezoid is, a trapezoid is going to have one pair of parallel sides, right? So look at this side the top and the bottom these two sides are parallel now the sides here are not parallel but the top and the bottom are parallel same thing over here look at the top and the bottom they're parallel so is this one top and the bottom are parallel now sometimes when we when when we uh 
are thinking about trapezoids, people are used to seeing this one that looks like the pattern block, but we can turn it, right? We can have a, tra a trapezoid with a right angle and we can turn it, it's still a trapezoid. So whenever you're looking at trapezoids, you're looking for one pair of parallel sides. All right, other shapes that we can make, um, that we see a kite here, right? A kite has two short sides and then two longer sides as well. So these are different quadrilaterals. There's a lot of them, okay? So um, they're, they can kind of be a little bit confusing to figure out which one is which. And these are all examples of polygons. Polygons have straight um, sides and they're closed shape. They don't have any extra parts, right? Their shape is called polygons. All right, when you get into your math journal, let's zoom in on this a little bit. You are going to be uh, working on drawing some of these things. Notice you're going to draw angle BAC. So don't draw a triangle over here because we want to only draw an angle. Remember, we're going to connect the points in order. And then you're going to answer some questions about um, the angle that you drew. Then we've got um, some questions that go with naming angles and then a, a, a kind of a picture here that you're going to draw. You're going to draw a triangle, right, from C to D to E. So this time you will have a triangle down here, and then you're going to answer some questions about that. Now, we used, we used a lot of vocabulary words here in this lesson, and so um, if you need your math SRB to help you out, remember, um, if you don't have the book, we've talked about how to access that online and look up some of those words. If you need that, please make sure to use that resource. All right, so our goal today was to um, work with angles and triangles and uh, quadrilaterals, there it is. And you can see that goes with these standards down here, right? Parallelograms, there's rhombuses, there's angles, all mentioned in our fourth grade standards. All right, if you need any help with anything, please reach out to me and good luck.